And welcome Hello. back to the Murphy Table. Hello, everyone. Hi, everyone. Okay, great. So what we're going to do is show you what's inside the box of Night of Man. Now, not that this is a new game, but we did something fun. Here we go. Ready? You going to help me open? All right. Well, here, don't lift the whole thing. Just there you go. Carefully lift the lid. Okay. So, wait, hold on now. So what we did was based on our 65 custom insert. I'm sorry. Yeah, she's excited. It's a surprise for you. It's a surprise. So we we created a Knight of Man custom insert. So this holds the Feroxy expansion, the Solo expansion, holds the uh, Kickstarter exclusive um, game tiles, which you can still get them on the site. Oops, here's the card. Ta-da! There it is. All right. Let's see. Let's put some of these back. So as you can see. This was actually an easier game to fit in here than was 65. 65 took some creativeness by me to get it off to fit. So I've got the removable card tray like we had with 65. Oops. So we've got that. Uh, hold on, i got to explain what we got in here. Then what I did was I kept the idea of... You're, you're helping quite a bit here, kid. So what I did was I kept the movable separators she's showing counters here that way I can move stuff around as needed to fit um, but we have here here's the oversized counters over here this had like a couple of the kaiju some of the big walking mecha and then we have over here this is all the killers this right here is the Feroxy over here we have some of the miscellaneous these are the breaches smoke uh, fire uh, some of the civilians grounded so some of the miscellaneous counters. Here is all of the uh, militia forces. So they're all right in there. Uh, this here is all of the solo game counters. And she's taken out. Here's all the moved and fired counters right here. And then here's all of the uh, ops complete shaken. Here, leave those ones there. Yeah. Uh, then here's the... Here's the extra game tiles. I know these are exciting, aren't they? Yeah, there they are. Then over here, we have all the miscellaneous stuff. Now, I wanted to uh, find a better way to put all the miscellaneous in there. I say miscellaneous because they just have various game effects, but they're kind of all mixed together. Uh, then over here are all of the mech building pieces. So there's all your, your components that you have to search for and find to put your mech together so having them in just one big tray like that is kind of a pain because you got to really dig through and find what you want I just didn't find a way to really divide up a small section like that uh, one other thing I did was with this tile I originally put the hole to grab the tiles here um, but then I wouldn't be able to put little counters here because they would all be floating around inside these through the holes so what I did was I cut this on the outside that way when I have this tray out of the box, which actually if I just pull out the components I need, I don't necessarily have to pull the tray out, but I can still grab them. So my wife said, well, for those who make this themselves, wait, hold on, baby, I gotta show them one more thing. Uh, you could put the hole to grab these right here on the inside, because once you take the card tray out, then you could, easily grab these and not have the hole there so uh, kind of designed decisions on how you would like it let's put the uh, cards back in so I'm gonna make another card tray for myself card holder because now I've got one for 65 I got one here for night of man uh, but I want to have one that way I can have uh, when I play like solitaire games I'll just have an extra card holder I, I take so I can have the game cards here and then the solitaire cards in my uh, extra card tray I've made now one thing here though still working on how to assemble this I'm putting what I was thought would be thin beads of glue here in the corners like take some hot glue and then just try to shove it up into the corners oh don't pull it out yet and then down along the bottom but the problem with that is even though I try to get those thin things still get stuck things still get stuck on the side leaving leaving like gaps 
so this doesn't sit entirely flush oops, in the corners because even though I try to push the glue in thin, it still doesn't quite fit. So I'll have to, I keep, I'm still working on ways to best utilize my hot glue to get everything to work. But anyway, that's, uh, that's an overview of the custom insert that we created for Night of Man. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Don't forget to what? Nice. Thank you a lot. So much for watching. Bye, everyone. All right. So long, everybody. Bye.